Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be discussing about a theorem which is based on triangles. Let's have a look at the theorem. If one angle of a triangle is equal to one angle of the other triangle and the sides including these angles are proportional, then the two triangles are similar. Now let us say we are given two triangles, a triangle ABC and a triangle DEF. Here we are given that angle A is equal to angle D and the sides including angle A are AB and AC. Similarly, the sides including angle D are DE and DF and the sides including these angles are proportional. We are required to show that triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. So let's have a look at the solution. Now we are given two triangles ABC and DEF such that angle A is equal to angle D and AB by DE is equal to AC by DF. We are required to prove that triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. So for that we have done some construction. We have drawn a point P on the side DE and a point Q on the side DF of triangle DEF such that DP is equal to AB and DQ is equal to AC. And we have joined PQ. So let's have a look at the proof now. Now we are already given that AB by DE is equal to AC by DF. And we have DP is equal to AB and DQ is equal to AC by construction. So if we replace AB with DP because DP is equal to AB and we replace AC by DQ because DQ is equal to AC then we get DP by DE is equal to DQ by DF which can be further written as DE by DP is equal to DF by DQ. Now if we subtract 1 from both the sides we get DE by DP minus 1 is equal to DF by DQ minus 1 or DE minus DP by DP is equal to DF minus DQ by DQ. Now in triangle DEF if we subtract DP from DE, then we get PE. Similarly, if we subtract DQ from DF, we get QF. So this equation can be further written as PE by DP is equal to QF by DQ. Hence, we can say DP by PE is equal to DQ by QF. Now, we know that converse of basic proportionality theorem says if a line divides any two sides of a triangle in the same ratio, then the line is parallel to the third side. Now in our previous slide, we proved that DP by PE is equal to DQ by QF, which means the side DE and DF are divided in the same ratio by the line PQ. So by the converse of basic proportionality theorem, we can say that PQ is parallel to EF. Now if PQ is parallel to EF, then PE is the transversal and angle P and angle E form the corresponding angles. And we know that corresponding angles are equal. So we can say angle P is equal to angle E and we mark this as equation number 1. Similarly, if we have PQ and EF and QF is the transversal, then angle Q and angle F form the corresponding angles and we know that corresponding angles are equal. Hence we can say angle Q is equal to angle F and we mark this as equation number 2. Now in triangle ABC and triangle DPQ we have AB is equal to DP by construction. We have angle A is equal to angle D which is already given in the question and we also have AC is equal to DQ again by construction. So we can say the triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DPQ by SAS congruency which is side angle side congruency. Now if the two triangles are congruent then by CPCT we can say that angle B is equal to angle P and angle C is equal to angle Q. CPCT states that if two triangles are congruent then their corresponding parts would be equal. Hence, angle B is equal to angle P and angle C is equal to angle Q. Now, 
From our equation number 1 and 2, we have angle P is equal to angle E and angle Q is equal to angle F. Both of these form the corresponding angles. So we can say that angle B is equal to angle P is equal to angles E. This is because we have angle B is equal to angle P by CPCT in our previous step. So if angle P is equal to angle B and angle P is equal to angle E, then we can say that all the three angles are equal to each other. Hence, angle B is equal to angle P is equal to angle E. Similarly, we can say angle C is equal to angle Q is equal to angle F. This is because we have angle C is equal to angle Q by CPCT in our previous steps. So, if angle Q is equal to angle C and angle Q is equal to angle F, then we can say that the three angles are equal to each other. Hence, angle C is equal to angle Q is equal to angle F. And we mark this as equation number 4. And we mark the equation of angle B is equal to angle P is equal to angle E as our equation number 3. Now, we know that in triangle ABC and triangle DEF, angle B is equal to angle E from our equation number 3. And we have angle C is equal to angle F from our equation number 4. So, we can say that triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. And this was the required result. So, by AA similarity criteria, we can say the triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. So, in this lesson, we have learned SAS similarity criteria, which states if one angle of a triangle is equal to one angle of the other triangle, and the sides including these angles are proportional, then the two triangles are similar. Thank you so much for watching.